The analysts were talking about how each of the people who are running for president is casting him or herself in some role. One is trying to look like the experienced statesman. Another is trying to look like the reforming outsider. It reminded me of when we were kids and would reach into the toy box. I'm going to be the sheriff, one of us would say, taking out a cowboy hat and a tin badge. I'll be the bad guy, another kid would say, taking out a six-shooter and holster. The illusion worked because we all agreed on who was who. Otherwise, the kid with the hat might look like the bad guy, and the kid with the holster might seem like the sheriff. The disguises weren't enough to create our personas. We had to announce who we were. So, one of the candidates says he is going to ride in on a horse and fix everything in Washington. It's a good thing he told us, because he actually is a U.S. Senator, an insider. So, he is going to show that money doesn't have to run our politics. It's good he told us, because he has raised more money than most from lots of rich folks and special interests. So he's gonna put an end to partisan squabbling. That's interesting, because he has put a lot of effort into helping people in his own party raise money for their campaigns. I haven't heard that he has helped anyone from the other party. In the movies, the sheriff always won and the bad guy always lost. But not when kids are playing in their backyards. An enthusiastic kid pretending to be the bad guy doesn't hesitate to shoot the sheriff if he gets the chance. It seems to work about the same in politics. Once the game really gets going, there is no telling whether the outsider in the white hat or the savvy backroom Paul will win. Disguises are only part of what determines an election. Luck and skill and hard work play a part, too. And the voters' memories make a difference. Sometimes they play along with the idea that the reformer is the good guy. But sometimes they remember that people who call themselves reformers usually end up being just as corrupt as the people they replaced. Sometimes the voters remember that we have elected self-proclaimed outsiders before who turned out not to know how to govern. Politics can be a fun game, but it's not a simple game. Sometimes you have to look beyond the labels that people put on themselves to find out who they really are.